Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the Zero AI doorbell with camera that works with the Xiaomi Mi Home app. Does it work well? Is it any good? Let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find a printed handwritten letter by the CEO. Below that, you'll find the doorbell, nicely packaged, together with some instructions, a bunch of screws, a small screwdriver, and some batteries to power it with. Additionally, you could buy this external speaker with it, which basically just has the doorbell speaker in it and some small instruction manual. Both the speaker as well as the doorbell camera are quite small and very lightweight. The camera doorbell unit gets powered over batteries and connects over Wi-Fi, which allows you to monitor it remotely and receive notifications when there's someone in front of the door. It obviously has a built-in camera, but also a microphone and a speaker for two-way communication. The speaker actually has a two-pin Chinese plug on the back to insert it directly into a power socket. So the first thing I did was load up some batteries in the camera, and you'll need to push the back side up and you can and insert these batteries. After that, I went ahead with installing it using the Mi Home app. You'll need to press the reset button on the inside of the doorbell when installing it. So I had to open it again, after which you'll need to scan the QR code that it displayed on your phone or tablet. And after that, it will set up the doorbell onto your Wi-Fi network. Keep in mind to add the tiny screw in the side of the doorbell, which it can detect when that's being removed. Once it's set up, it will appear as a new device in your devices list and you can monitor the camera and change its settings. I then set up the speaker, which you can actually pair using the doorbell button on the doorbell unit, but uh, I didn't have to do anything as it actually paired right away. You could pair up to four of these speakers to a single doorbell and these have a range of 50 meters. Keep in mind you don't need to have these speakers installed per se. You could also choose to just keep it strictly notifying you on your mobile phone when someone rings the doorbell if you don't have a need for this speaker. The speaker is extremely loud though. I was really surprised at how loud it is at max volume. Well you can mount the doorbell in front of your door using the added screws which seems like the safest option, but it's also got a backside with 3M tape, which frankly should be strong enough to attach it with. It should be able to be kind of used outdoors, although it's not really waterproof. So now that it's all set up, how does it all work and uh, what can you do with it? The camera has a pretty wide 105 degrees angle and that can automatically switch to using its infrared sensor when it's dark. It shoots 720p video which actually looks really crisp and sharp. From the app you can set up a whole bunch of things. If you go to the settings in the top right corner you can uh, change the doorbell settings and uh, here you can enable if you want the doorbell to send a push notification when the doorbell is pressed. You can enable a removal alarm and notification which will be triggered when the doorbell is being removed. Under camera settings you can set up HDR which will be a bit more battery consuming and you can set up how the infrared sensors will react to darker situations. You can also change the ringtone and the level of the speaker and enable if you want the doorbell to install new firmware updates automatically. In the second menu you can set all the motion detection settings. When this is enabled, it can automatically record a clip and send you this clip as a push notification as well. You can also set up the sensitivity, set the interval between recorded clips, and even set the length of these clips, which is all quite flexible. You can also link the doorbell camera to the Mi touchscreen AI speaker, which really looks amazing actually. Under experimental features, you can enable if you want the doorbell to ring when it detects someone knocking on the door, and you can record a custom reply that is played back through the speaker in the doorbell or choose one of the pre-recorded phrases. Which is pretty cool actually. Additionally, you can even set up face recognition. Once this is set up, it will push through the names or tags when someone is in front of the door. From the device's main page, you can see that when the doorbell is rang, it will detect faces. And here I got pretty upset as the first time it detected me as a 50-year-old man. 50-year-old male, are you kidding me? Kind of a gimmick feature is that you can have this voice warping option so that your delivery guy is like, what? Hi, 
Additionally, you can also set up smart home automation rules. This could be a great idea if you don't want to buy the speaker. So when setting up smart home automation rules for the doorbell, you can set a number of things as the starting condition. When the doorbell button is pushed or abruptly moved, this allows you to set up a rule to use it with the Xiaomi or Akara gateway and create a rule that when this button is pressed, it will play a doorbell sound on your gateway. You could also have it trigger the alarm on the gateway when it's being removed, for example. Some websites mention that you could pair it with a Bluetooth speaker as well, which is not true. Although you can set up an automation rule to set up Xiao I speakers to play a custom phrase, you cannot have Xiao I actually play a doorbell sound. So when you press the button, it will say the phrase that you've got set up in the automation rule, which is probably not that convenient. Additionally, you can have Xiao I play music or skip a song, but all of those ain't that convenient either. So what do I think? Well, so far I think that the doorbell camera is really cool. Although its video is 720p instead of 1080p, the video is really good. It's really versatile in its setup and you can really change a lot of settings. And it's really cool to receive a notification on your phone when someone is in front of the door or even when it detects motion. I can foresee many people really liking this to communicate with the delivery guy that is in front of your door or to say to someone that you're on the way back home, for example. Even though it's not waterproof, I am really quite impressed with the camera. The thing to keep in mind is that sometimes when you open or close the door really hard, the door knocking feature Feature might ring the doorbell if you have that enabled as it might recognize that as a knocking. The all new smart speaker with display is a really cool addition with this doorbell so that you don't even have to open up the app as it will automatically open up the display to show who's uh, in front of your door. So I'm pretty excited to see that. In China, the doorbell came out in the Xiaomi Yopin store for 269 RMB, which is about 40 US dollars or 35 euros, and as a set with the speaker for 299 RMB, which is about 44 US dollars or 39 euros. You can get them through the international resellers if you're outside of China, but they will sell them for a little bit more, although they were pretty well priced to be honest. I put down some links in the description below this video to where you could buy them if you're interested in checking them out. So that's about it for the doorbell camera with optional speaker. What do you think? Would you be interested in getting this? Let me know down here in the comment section and definitely leave a little thumbs up below the video if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done that yet as I'm covering a lot of products from the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.